Hello, it's Rob from Choice again. Uh, a question or a mistake, shall we say, that we get a lot from students when they're doing their uh, assessments is how can I tell the difference between an expansion relief valve or pressure relief valve and a temperature relief valve? Where, where do I find pressure? Where do I find temperature? They both look very, very similar. Well, the easy way of telling is that pressure is always found on the system somewhere. Whereas temperature has to tell the temperature of the cylinder itself. So it's got to be on the cylinder. Now, a lot of the times, they can, these can do both. These are TP valves. They do temperature and pressure. But the temperature has to be there. Whereas the expansion are on the pipework. In this case, it's up here. What is an expansion? Well, it's basically allowing, if the pressure gets too high, you'll see on the side of it, it'll say a pressure. In this sense, it's free bar. When the system ever got to free bar pressure, it opens up and it would let water discharge to stop it blowing up. What does the temperature do? Well, temperatures, we don't want the water to ever get too hot. A major temperature we don't want is 100 degrees. Why 100 degrees? Well, we've learned that our expansion vessels are in place because when we heat the water to 60 degrees that we want, the pressure will expand by 4%. And we can control 4%. That's easily done. It's easily done by putting a little vessel in. But what else we learn is that if the water hits 100 degrees, if something didn't, if the stats didn't turn it off when they were meant to, it expands by 1,600 times. That means we would need 1,600 vessels to hold this one. That's a lot of, which obviously isn't the case. So we cannot let the water get to 100 because it would 100% blow our system up. So to stop that, we've got safety devices, and one of them is this, it's the temperature uh, relief valve. We do not want that temperature getting too hot.